Greetings everybody in the name of Jesus. This is your brother and your host, Joe Kennedy is my name. Precious saints, the voice of thunders. By the special grace of God, I am the prophetic mystic rabbi, ordained of God in Christ Jesus. And I am an apostle in the body of Christ. Now hear me as I hear the Lord. Precious saints, it is now emphatically clear on what the Lord is doing in the nation of Kenya. God is setting things in place. There is so much that is happening and like I said and I say again, you don't need rocket science to perceive what is happening in the nation of Kenya. Now allow me to speak to the nations most particularly the nations of Africa, the 54 or 56 of you, allow me to address the continent of Africa and tagging along Kenya in particular. Hear me as I hear the Lord. I've always opined on this channel and it has become the theme of modern paradise that God does not speak because he has a mouth. Unlike human beings, they speak because they have mouth. The Lord speaks because he has an agenda, he has a purpose. Now, it is that purpose that Lord God Almighty intends to protect. The purpose is as everlasting as the very fundamental aspect he wants to manifest. And I want Kenyans to understand what is happening. It is quite unfortunate that the religious clergy, the National Council of Churches in Kenya, NCCK, does not even know what is happening. The Pentecostal Movement Association of Kenya does not have an idea what is happening. The Apostolic Council the religious aspect of it does not understand what is happening. The charismatic movement in Kenya are lost by the rivers of Babylon. Trying to remember Zion. Being forced to sing a song while in Babylon. Now hear me as I hear the Lord. The Lord has spoken through the mouth of prophets that are on the rise. There are prophets that you are watching on YouTube. Hear me? There is one prophet of God from the tabernacle of Mechaba International. There is another prophet of God from the Dwelling Palace International. There is another prophet of God. Actually, he's a pastor stroke prophet. Pastor Mwai. Mwangi, though he speaks in Kikuyu, there's another woman of God who's an apostle, an authentic voice. Her Excellency Wairimo, faith. There's another over from Eldoret, just behind the backyard of the fallen regime leader, William Ruto. The prophet of God, Mark Onyango Ochien. And many of our kind. God is speaking in clarity. God is setting things in order. God is rearranging his house. Now hear me. The rising up in the Gen Z, the Generation Z, the Generation Zion is not a coincidence. It is not the workings of Satan through these young men. No. This is the working of God behind the scene. Now let me tell you. I overheard this man of God, the senior pastor of Share the Love Center, John C.W. purportedly claiming carnally, religiously that 
the spirit behind the Gen Z is the spirit from Haiti. How carnal can you be to purport such a thing? How religious can you be to purport such a thing? How confused, bemused, backward can you be to purport such a thing? I love you, John C. W. Oh yes, I love you. But receive holy rebuke in the name of Yeshua. Didn't Paul the apostle rebuke Peter for hypocrisy? When Peter sitting among the Gentiles, he praises the Gentiles. And when Peter goes to the Jews, he castigates the Gentiles. And Paul came in scripture and rebuked that hypocrisy. I come in the name of Yeshua, John C.W. I rebuke you in the name of the Lord for hypocrisy, for lie, for deceit. I'm sorry. I have no apology in fact. You need to stand firm. Are you with the Lord or are you with the religious cocoons? Choose this day whom you shall serve. If the Lord is your God, serve him. But if you are going to follow the song of religious cocoons, who unto you? And who to the flock you pastor? If that is the order you choose to walk by. Leave that alone. I'm here on assignment as a prophet of God. Listen. My office is that of an apostle. My gift in the body is that of a teacher. But in one areas of my movement in the frequency of God, I am picked up by the Spirit to utter the prophetic. Hear me as I hear the Lord. The generation Z and Kenya, God is using this generation as an example to the generation Z's in other nations in the continent of Africa. There is something God is doing. There is the sounding of a shofar telling the nations in Africa and the Gen Z's in those nations, arise, O ye, my army, and take your rightful place. There are presidents in the nations of Africa that are about to lose grip in those nations. They have plagued the nations in corruption, in dictatorial uh, execution. And God is saying, your time is over. You are packing out. And so I'm here to address the Gen Z's in South Africa, the Gen Z's in Uganda, the Gen Z's in Tanzania, the Gen Z's in Congo, the Gen Z's in Malawi, the Gen Z's in Mozambique, in Namibia, in Switzerland, in Lesotho, in Madagascar, in Egypt, in Eritrea, in Somali, Somali, Somali. Let the Gen Z's in you arise in the name of Jesus. The spirit of Yeshua is moving in these nations. God is using Kenya as a peace center. Hear now what the Lord is saying. From the scriptures. We're going to read. I have to affirm the authenticity of the declaration from scriptures. Isaiah 43. Listen to what the Lord is saying. Oh yes. This is what the Lord is saying. You shall know the Lord has spoken. You shall know that the Lord has spoken. You shall know that the Lord has spoken. Isaiah chapter number 43. Thank you, Jesus. Verse number 19. It says, Behold, I will do but I now say, behold, I am doing a new thing. 
Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not perceive it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field will honor me. The jackals and the ostriches because I give waters in the wilderness of the jackals and the ostriches. This is a cluster of people. Oh yes, there are jackals in the nation. Some are behaving like ostriches. Long necks, but performing nothing. The Lord says, I give waters in the wilderness. This is the season of refreshing that is coming to the nations. I will give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people. My chosen. These people I have formed for myself. They shall declare my praise. Now listen. This is the reason why the Gen Z's have risen. The Lord is doing a new thing. The jackals in Kenya and the ostriches in Kenya, this cluster of people in the political scene, in the economical scene, and in the church scene, there are jackals there and ostriches in these three categories I've mentioned. The Bible says that even the jackals and the ostriches shall perceive it. Oh yes, has in the political dimension of jackals and ostriches perceived it? They have. Has the church perceived it? They have. Has the economical jackals, the likes of David and D, perceived it? They have. Farouk Kibet, the advice of the president who is a jackal, he has. And many more. Listen, Kenya is being used as a peace center. They are prizing the uprising of the Gen Z's, the uproar of the Gen Z's is fully backed up by the council jury of heaven. Africa, wait and watch the space. What is coming to hit Africa? Africa shall be redeemed from the hands of the oppressor. Kenya is being redeemed from the hands of the oppressor. And the Lord says, in the mouth of babes shall I declare my praise. Now the mouth of babes, this our common denominator are the Gen Z's, whom you call babes, children, infants. Now you shall know that the Lord shall even command stones to speak. This is what is happening. So Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi, Rwanda, East Africa and the entire African continent. Prepare. Kenya is only a forerunner. More is coming. And this will hit African president by a shock. You know, as I speak to you right now, as even as I wind up, it's quite unfortunate that William Ruto will be the shortest ever leave the president in presidency. He will hit the Guinness Book of Record because number one, he is not just a liar. He is not just a deceit, a deceiver. There's such an English. He is not confused, just confused. He is, for a fact, an ambiguous failure. The Lord says he has used my name in vain many occasions. He came that he is a messenger from God. I told you on 25th of February 2022 that a false political messiah by the name of William Root, if Kenya you will choose him, you will fail. Prophet Aid Branson Prophet Aid Branson gave a prophecy and said, Kenya, you have two men. One, by the name William Ruto, if he is chosen, he will bring poverty to the nation. 
And if you choose Raila, you will bring prosperity to the nation. Prophet Ed Branson said it. Go to his YouTube and check. He said it. Kenya, you didn't listen to Prophet Great Ed Branson. Now look, we have chosen Ruto. Poverty is eating our nation. And had we chosen Raila, right now Kenyans will be dancing. I have spoken from the Lord. Shabbat Shalom. Toda Rabbah. Toda Elohim. Toda Yeshua. Toda Ecclesia. Toda Bene Elohim. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you and make his face to shine upon you. Africa, it is your sign. It is your season. Kenya, we are on the right track. Jerseys, salute! Adios.